clean this review. All right, it's time to give you guys another video. My name's Curtis, this is the Kurt Locker, and today we're looking at the Titan Fitness nine bar holder. Should be an easy video to keep short, Curtis, short video. So what we have is the Titan Fitness nine bar holder. What is it? Well, it is a holder that holds nine bars vertically. It does so in a very small footprint and it does so, in my opinion, very effectively, especially when you consider the price. So the actual footprint, and I'll measure it right now just so that we have it exact, is 19 and 3 eighths inches by 19 and 3 eighths inches. It is nine total bars that it holds in a three by three grid. They are lined up with each other. They're not offset. Additionally, each sleeve has this plastic liner that's on the inside. The idea with the plastic liner is just to give your bar a little bit of protection as it goes in and out of each one of the sleeve channels. Each one of the sleeve channels does end in basically just steel in the very bottom and that steel is provided by the bottom of the actual panel all nine are welded into place only in the bottom and each one of the tubes in the bottom has four it's basically just little spot welds to hold them vertically at the top they're not actually welded into place all that this does is serve as kind of a guide. Realistically, it doesn't need to be leveled. It doesn't provide any additional support if it was leveled and would probably make it more difficult to manufacture. Now, one thing that Titan Fitness has done really well here, in my opinion, is the branding. They've done really well. They got the Titan name very cleanly cut into uh, the outside and it just looks good for mounting on irregular shaped floors. It does basically go onto these four pads that are right here. So in the event that you're on a sloped floor, it's very easy to shim. Basically, if your downhill is this way, I'd recommend placing it so that you can just shim up the feet with the gap going forward. One thing I think that they could do a little bit better here is to provide some sort of contrast so whether that's like a piece of steel or something, really it doesn't matter all that much. It says Titan day in and day out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know exactly what you're getting. So who is this for? I would say that if you are someone that uses barbells and barbells only, maybe some specialty bars, but when I say specialty bars, I'm talking like uh, maybe you have a branch and a beam or a Saxon bar, basically anything that's about the same size and shape as a barbell, this is a really good option for you. Additionally, it's a really good option if you are into strongman or into camber bar training or those types of bars because it will allow you to store those bars vertically and it does so very well. The only issue that I really see with storing a log or any sort of other big specialty bar in this holder is that you tend to start to lose either access to that middle bar or you start to really kind of cloud over some of the other bars and I'll demonstrate real quick with a log. With a log bar, in the mount, you can see that it actually holds it really well upright. This is a 90 pound bar and I can push it pretty hard and it doesn't bend anything. However, it does rock back and forth. If you push it hard enough, obviously it's gonna go. Basically, as you can see, with the, the log vertically in there, you basically lose these ones. And although you do have access to this one, it's very difficult to maneuver any sort of barbell in and out because it is coming right up to that log. So as you can see, it is like, they're touching. So if this is something that bothers you with finish, having a barbell rub against something, this might not be a good option for you. Overall though, it's really not that big of a deal because even if you say that you lose these four spots for this one log, you still do have one, two, three, four, five spots that are going all the way around. Some of the other things you can do is you can 
configure this so that bars better fit inside the footprint. So with a camber bar, for instance, you can store this and it stores just fine. And again, it's plenty solid. Like it takes a lot of effort to actually push it over, but uh, you can configure so that maybe this camber bar is rotated this direction and then you can stack these barbells here and then it really doesn't interfere with the operation of everything else. And we have here you can see it in a standard configuration, just using mostly barbells, a few specialty bars in there. And other than me saying that I have a rust spot. And this is actually one of the things I really like about this holder is that it does hold nine bars in a 19 and essentially 19 and a half by 19 and a half space that also allows you to access even the center bar with a little bit of effort without having to remove all the outside bars. So that really does bring us to the price point. So this, as of today, so I'm filming this on the 31st of August, it should be up later today or tomorrow, is $85 from Titan Fitness. And of course that includes shipping as we've become so used to from that company. If you were to buy this exact same bar holder, and it is pretty close to the exact same bar holder from Rogue Fitness, Unfortunately, it's gonna cost you $145 as well as you're gonna pay shipping on top of that. Now, if Made in USA and supporting Made in USA companies is something that you value, this could be an item that you choose to purchase from a company like Rogue Fitness just because that's what you value. And that's fine, that's great. But if you have a bunch of barbells and you have them laying on the ground right now, this is an awesome value and an awesome way to get them up off the ground and get them into a nice storage rack that is nice and compact and stores out of the way. One other thing that I just realized as I uh, was putting barbells in this for the demonstration is that this barbell holder is also really nice for doing barbell inspection. If you're like me and you like bare steel bars, uh, one of the things that you have to do is you have to inspect to prevent oxidation. Uh, looking at my deadlift bar right here, I can actually see that there's a spot that I missed on the last time that I came out here and cleaned the bars. But with that, you can completely rotate these freely inside of the barbell holder so you can do inspections on all of your barbells without any sort of problem at all. That's been it for my video though. I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, when it comes to your garage gym storage options, you should always keep it better, awesome, and of course, badass. I'll see you guys next time.